Hello, this is a zombie specialist, and we're here with a special guest, and we uh, got ten questions for him. And uh, this is Bradley the Bruiser. How you doing? Thanks for uh, coming. I'm over. glad to be here today. All right, we're gonna start off with the first question. What would be the first thing you did in a zombie apocalypse situation? Oh, I I, I raped them. Is raped that what you would do? Females, yeah. Okay, that's the first thing you would do is rape the female. Yeah, why not? <laughs> the female zombies? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, that's cool. All right. Now, um, what would be your weapon of choice? Only one weapon. One weapon? I would choose the... The... Uh, uh, oh, it's... I'd choose a uh, shotgun. A shotgun, huh? Yeah. A Winchester? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'd probably choose a Winchester to an awesome rifle. Yep. Okay, um... What kind of vehicle would you want in the zombie apocalypse? A Jeep four-wheel drive so I can get up in the hills. Hey, that's a good answer, man. Okay. Well, you kind of already answered this question, but I'm going to ask, okay. ask him anyway. See what the hell. Okay. Um, what kind of answer you get? Um, would you have sex with a zombie? And if so, what would be the position you did it in? Oh, I'd definitely do it doggy style. <laughs> and stand, and then standing, standing her up on her head and me standing on my feet and then just... Oh, so she couldn't bite you. Yeah. Okay. All right, that makes perf perfectly good sense, but I wouldn't. Su I would suggest not to do the old, you know, blow in the back seat, because you might not come back with anything. Because yeah, that's true. They eat brains, okay? All right, and eyeballs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so would you would you suggest using camouflage? Or just rather regular clothing to fit camouflage. in? Camouflage. Okay. All camouflage for yes, you. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. I'm with you on that. I mean, people say, oh, I shouldn't do this because it'll make me a high profile. I'm not going to be seen. I don't want you to see me. That's so, right. Because oh, if they don't see you, they don't come after you. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and they're, they follow sound. Yeah. Anyways, okay. So... Would you want to be solo by yourself in the zombie apocalypse or in a pack of other people? Well, if I, and why? If I was by myself, it would be better because then I would just have to worry about myself and nobody else. Yes, that's a good thinking. Um, but then there's good stuff like being in yeah. a pack. If another pack of humans come, you could have Help. your pack, you know, yeah. surviving and bringing in food and stuff like that. But then you got to have a good leader. Yeah, So exactly. Okay, boots or shoes? <laughs> shoes are out. I would take boots. Boots, I agree. Then that would come up to about ankle high. I agree on that because some say shoes are going to, yeah, they're going to be lighter on your feet. Yeah. But You'd be able just to like if better. you were going in your car. And a zombie jumped out from underneath your car and grabbed you and bit your ankle. At least, if you had boots, you would have protection around right. your ankle. It'd be harder for them to bite through, you know, all the way through. For sure. Okay, would you want to be in a city or a small town or outskirts? Where would you want to be in a zombie apocalypse? Be in a small town. In a small town? Yeah. And why is that? Because there's probably more zombies in the big city, in the city, than in a small town. Yeah, that's a good answer, man. Good, good answer. Okay, dog or no dog? Well, if I had a dog, at least it would help me out a little bit. Yeah, I'd probably take a dog, yeah. Okay, now that's, that's a good and bad. You got a friend yeah. and all. But then again, if he, if the dog don't listen, and he He's goes, and, shit. yeah, he he goes and stirs up trouble and shit, and then I brings want zombies. Him. Yeah. So you, in that situation, you would have to have a really, really smart trained, dog. Yeah. Smart dog. Yeah. So I'm in the between that because I would like to have a dog, but then yeah. again, dogs 
like to bite, and if they go and bite one of the zombies, they're liable to catch the zombie infection, right. and then you and got a zombie dog. Zombie dog, yeah. Okay, so there's, of course, they're bad and good about everything. Yeah. So would you want to be around a lake or a river or anything like that, and why? I'd probably want to be around a river. Why? Because, hell, I don't know. Well, there's a couple good things about both. Uh, zombies usually don't float, so they're going to soak to the bottom. So if you've got like a lake house boat, that'd be really good. You could. Because yeah. they would not, and if they do get a, even start climbing on your boat, that's where the samurai sword comes in. They're with their hands pulling themselves up, and you could just you decapitate them easily. Yeah. So that would be your best, easiest way to kill zombies. because In a, in a lake or yeah, a river or Because ocean. it's so easy. You know what I mean? You just cut their heads off over and over and over, you know? You could yeah. save all your ammunition. I mean, it's a no-brainer almost. So. so what I'm thinking in the zombie apocalypse... We're gonna fucking kill them all. We're not gonna stop and wait around and Until hide get, and everything. Yeah. No, we're gonna get out there. Get and out there and kill, kill some them. fucking zombies. Okay? Get rid of them, so we can have a peace. We uh, could be like the Indians and have a yep. peace meeting with all the other countries, and we'll all have to get together and uh, and smoke dope. Yeah, well, <laughs> do what you got to do, you know. Nah, especially, just, especially at the end of the world, pretty much, you know, zombie apocalypse. You're gonna be trading and bartering and. Now, like, if I was a zombie, would you kill me? Yeah, I'd have to. If even if I didn't bother you, or, you know, your family or anything, you would still kill me. I'd have to kill you, Bradley. You're my friend. I like you a lot. Then you'd have. To, then. But you'd if you turn me? into a zombie, I would have to cut your head off. And we like to drink alcohol. <sighs> what were you saying about drinking like a man? Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gulp, gulp, gulp. Yeah. <laughs> this guy don't know how to drink like a man. Ah, shut up. He's a little foster's child. <laughs> <laughs> He's a foster's child. <laughs> Holy shit, man. We will what? have to... <sighs> chop up the fucking zombies or humans or whatever. We gotta yeah. team up and become a team. And succeed. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is an extremely sharp knife from Brazil. The Brazilians. Maybe. The Brazilians crafted this underwater with the uh, otters they were in the water with the otters because when it gets hotter than an otter out of water this is what they make when it's hotter than an otter out of water this is not for children all right you want to touch it you want to touch it yeah touch it touch it touch it touch it <laughs> here ah yeah ah, ah. here here be easy it's super sharp i uh, know lay down your hand like this Flat? Like that. Oh, flat, man. Flat hands. Be careful. It's super sharp. Ugh. Ooh. Wow, look how it's crafted. Look how they're curved. Each and every blade. And look at the handle. Oh, mmm. Oh, that's just my tool. Oh, baby, I could cut <laughs> your dick off of this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at that! Holy shit! I could cut your an ankles off with this. I could cut your tongue off with this. I could rip you like that. Nobody would know what happened. The cops would be puzzled because they've probably never seen one of these. They would think it was an animal. Yeah. Now set it on my hand before you hurt yourself. 
All right. Well, easy. Oh. I could cut your nose off. Yeah. I could cut your teeth out. No, wait a minute. I could cut your you nipples could... off. Oh, that I would... I could cut oh. your butt cheeks into ten little butt cheeks with like two strokes. Shave them. You could shave them off, man. The skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. You could cut your eyeballs out with that. This is a very fun weapon to use. And probably highly illegal, but who cares? No, man. Look. Four fingers. You yep. don't see that? And it. Okay, it's a little bit longer, yeah. but it kind of goes to a curve, so it's kind of fair. <sighs> this is the zombie specialist, and uh, why don't you rate and comment and subscribe? And we'll be coming back to you with other special guests and other crazy weapons. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.